guys, welcome to my kitchen. So a while ago I did a video on my Dutch channel that was my tea collection, my current tea collection. And I got a couple of comments on there from people that were like, we need this video in English. So today I thought I would make an updated tea collection for you guys, because I already have one video I believe about my tea collection on this channel from a couple of years ago, but it has expanded a little bit since then. Maybe a lot. <laughs> so you guys probably know by now if you've been following me for a while that I love tea so much. Tea is, I would say, a hobby, maybe even a passion of mine. I just, I have so many warm fuzzy feelings for tea, so <laughs> I am a lot of tea. I am going to start with my loose leaf teas, which are up here. Not everything, but we'll get to that later. So let's start with this here. I keep my um, loose leaf tea in jars. I think they look cute. It's nice and uniform. <laughs> and you can see what's inside. I don't have them labeled, but I know my teas. I remember where most, if not all of these came from and what they are. So let's start with the first one, this is a green tea that I got oh, at Oolong Flower Power in Dublin. Oh my gosh. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So next to that is another one of those. Also got this in Oolong Flower Power. Oh gosh, guys, these are so good. I will definitely go back there sooner or later and get some more because these teas are amazing. So next to that I have a um, fruit tea, a fruit blend that I got from a viewer. Next to that is a green tea that, <laughs> that I got in, at Zwolle and Kirch in Dublin as well, but a little bit longer ago. This one has like peach and flowers in there, roses, it's, it's so good. So that's the first row of teas, then behind there this is a tea a green tea with roses and like lots of other things as well. Really, really love this one. Got that from a viewer as well. This is my Witch's Brew. <laughs> yep, still got that one. Um, oh, by the way, guys, I don't know if this is for my like way long time viewers um, that know the story of my Witch's Brew tea. One of my Dutch viewers actually commented on my Dutch tea collection video that they found the lady who sells this at Castlefest. So. I may actually be able to like track her down and buy all of her witch's brew tea, which is amazing. But this is like a herbal blend that helps with like menstrual pain and stuff. This is a herbal mix, just from a herb store. And this is a black tea with like flowers and I believe there's like lemon peel in there. Really nice one, got this one from Robert's mom. Then there's a row of teas <laughs> underneath there as well. This is a herbal blend from Prague. This is jasmine green tea, my favorite. This is a Christmassy blend, I believe. Or is this the autumn? Oh yeah, this is that tea that I bought a while ago that was so... Um, Appetizing that I made a little scented bag out of this, like for my way, way back viewers as well. If you remember that video, um, I do like it now, by the way. My taste has developed since then. This is black tea with toffee um, flavor. Then behind there are more herbal teas. I have cherry green tea. Um, what's that? Some kind of black tea with berries, and then a green tea with like tropical fruits and stuff. Those are my loose leaf teas that I have up here. Let's move down to the floor where I have a box of teas and some more stuff. All right, so here's my kitchen floor and here is my shoe box of tea. Um, <laughs> so this is kind of shoved underneath this cabinet. I have a very small kitchen and not a lot of space. So yeah, this is kind of the best solution for me, I think. Um, all right, so this is kind of where the chaos starts and um, there's more stuff that I don't really know what it is. I used to work with this company that made tea sample boxes and they would send me one every month. So I have a lot of tea samples from there. Uh, but let's just start with this one. This is a tea kind of... What is this called in English? Yeah, anyway, it's a herbal tea <laughs> and it's really nice. I have some loose leaf teas here. 
in jars that I can't really remember um, what they are and where they came from, but I just smell them and yeah, they're all good. I, I pretty much like all teas. There aren't many teas that I really don't like. Yeah, so here I have jars with more loose leaf teas. <laughs> These are all samples. Um, so I have those, another tiny, tiny little remainder, like two servings of a loose leaf tea. This is a chai tea that I got from a colleague here in the Netherlands and I absolutely love this one, it is delicious. Let's see, I have a baggie here of white teas. Um, one is berry flavored and one is citrus flavored. I had to put these in a little bag because the boxes wouldn't fit in my suitcase anymore when I bought these. I buy most of my teas abroad because the Dutch are boring people and they don't sell a large variety of teas. Um, <laughs> so here are, let's see, this one is, oh, there's one little baggie left in here. This is pumpkin spice um, red tea. This is chocolate truffle tea. I already finished that one, but I want to keep the little container. This is cute. Um, and this contains a different tea now than it used to. It used to be caramel apple. This is a, a lotus tea that um, Siobhan sent me a while ago and it's, it is so good. I love to have this with um, like Asian food. This is just the first fruit tea from Tesco's. This is um, Alpine Herb Tea that a friend gave me because some friends brought it to her but she didn't like it and her family didn't like it so they gave it to me and I love this. <laughs> it's like a really fresh kind of minty um, blend. Really good. This is uh, Minty Morocco Tea. This is a blend of green and white teas I believe. Pretty sure it is. With um, notes of lychee. Then, this is a glue fix. Yes, these are tea bags that you can put in a um, glass of red wine and it makes like glue bags really good. In winter. Um, all right, so more tea. These are all take on a um, fruity blends that I really, really love. Here I have a take on a Opuntia green tea. It's, it's a kind of like cactus. It has a really nice kind of sweet Tastes really good. This is green tea with aloe. Here I have um, like individual little loose tea bag samples that I still have to use up and I'm slowly getting through. These are um, more tea samples, loose ones, and chai. I have like a big row of chai tea by take on as well that I once again couldn't bring the box of. <laughs> I have some tea flowers in here which, oh, uh, these things are so much fun. You put them in a teapot, probably a glass one, and then when you pour the hot water in, the bowl kind of opens and it forms this like beautiful flower arrangement thing. So cool. And these are all loose tea samples from Adagio that I got through that um, tea sample company. And the last thing is this tea forte, like iced tea, um, baggy thing that I haven't used yet. I believe that's everything that's underneath my kitchen cabinet. Moving on, this is everything that came out of the cabinet over my stove. I have some more boxes that just don't fit under here anymore. So this is gunpowder green um, tea. Really nice this one. I really really like this. And this is um, Asian white. It's a green and white tea blend with some rose petals in there I believe. Yeah, really nice as well. And then I have Two boxes here which um, are what I use to serve guests so that they don't have to you know, rummage through my entire collection. Although I always allow it if people like to, but most people find it a little bit overwhelming. So yeah, I just put these boxes on the table and people can choose their tea. So it's mostly take on in here. Um, just lots, lots of fruity blends. This is a pomegranate and um, black berry one. This is uh, vanilla and raspberry. This is wild strawberries. This is a wintry fruit and spices mix. Some chai tea. This is a calming um, like herbal blend. This is just fruit tea. Um, this is strawberry and cherry. Let's see, this is another kind of wintry um, fruit and spice mix. Then this is 
winter glow. It's like a lot, it's a black tea with um, spices, kind of like that typical wintery tea. Prunes and then kind of like vanilla custard or something. It's really strange, but really good. This is cherry, um, vanilla and blueberries. Then I have one single sad <laughs> strawberry and lemongrass green tea. This is Sencha. Sencha green tea. This is that Opuntia flavor. Um, mint tea. This is chamomile and honey. This is um, lemon and elderberry. Right? Elderflower. Yeah, that's the one. Um, Sage. So that's what's in here and most of this box is just backups um, of everything that didn't fit in here because once I, you know, I take them out of the box I want to get rid of the box. So this is where I store the rest of it. So yeah, this is a berry tea. This is more of the same that I have in there. Mint, sage. Yeah, this is yeah all the same that's in the other box as well. So that is my entire tea collection. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!